Sixty Street and felt that she needed one of these. Air pollution smells nasty and is really bad for the environment. But what about us? We all have a sense that smog is not good for our health. But how bad is it really? Can't we just live with it? Well, not if we want to live for as long as we should. Fact is, air pollution affects a child even before it is able to breathe. Studies have shown that pregnant women who are exposed to high levels of air pollution are more likely to have their kids prematurely born, have birth defects, and have lower IQs. As a child's lungs and immune system is still developing until the age of six, they are more susceptible to the effects of air pollution. Relative to their body size, children breathe in 50% more air per kilogram of body weight than adults and they spend more time active outdoors than adults exposing them to more polluted air. Children who play outdoor sports in highly polluted areas were found to be three times more likely to develop asthma and children who live near the freeways are more likely to have 10 to 15 percent reduced lung function and develop more respiratory infections that may lead to lung disease in adulthood. The World Health Organization, or the WHO, says that three million people are killed worldwide because of outdoor air pollution every year. That's three times the number of automobile accident deaths in a year. This mask might even be more important than a seatbelt after all. A professor emeritus at the University of the Philippines College of Medicine may have summed it up best. Air pollution is our self-inflicted big terrorist attack. It poses a more real and imminent threat than anthrax or any other form of biological warfare. Yet, very few of us are seriously concerned about it. Why? Because there are no catastrophic scenes like in a tsunami or a flood or an earthquake. It's just in the air. And we just breathe it all in. One of the most noxious fumes out there is nitrogen oxide, or NOx for short. NOx is a highly reactive gas that contains nitrogen and oxygen and is produced when fuels are burned at high temperatures, meaning anything with an engine, a motorcycle, car, trucks, buses, airplanes, produce NOx. A diesel engine emits more NOx than a gas engine. NOx also reacts to volatile organic compounds to form a ground-level ozone, more commonly known as smog. And this causes respiratory diseases like emphysema, bronchitis, and asthma. NOx also reacts with other gases, leading to acid rain, which damages cars, buildings, trees, crops, lakes, and rivers. And when blown by the wind, NOx can travel long distances and carry its nasty effects far from its original source. So, what can we do about NOx and air pollution? Developing technologies like catalytic converters to reduce NOx from car emissions may help. Walking or riding your bike instead of driving helps even more. But, as long as there are cars on the road, there will be NOx in the air and we will suffer the effects that go with it. We need something to protect ourselves. I don't know about you, but I hope it isn't this. Fortunately, there is something that just might help. Scientists have known for a while that titanium dioxide, which is a common ingredient in paint, can be specially modified so that if you shone a light on it, it could attack pollutants like NOx and volatile organic compounds or VOCs. Without NOx and VOCs, we don't have smog. Now, this modified titanium dioxide is called a photocatalyst, meaning it is a substance that is activated by light, that is the photo part, and it speeds up a chemical reaction without using itself up, that is the catalyst part. Now, photocatalytic titanium dioxide is quite a mouthful, so let's just call it ACT, or air cleaning titanium dioxide. When you shine a light on ACT, it starts a chemical process that converts ordinary water vapor into a NOx killer. Toxic NOx is then broken down into harmless quantities of nitrates, carbon dioxide, and water. And because ACT never gets used up in the process, the attack on NOx goes on and on and on as long as there's light and water. Sounds good in theory, but will it work in real life? 
In 2002, the European Union funded a project called Picada to find out. Millennium Inorganic Chemicals of the UK, which is now a subsidiary of Crystal Global, provided the air cleaning titanium dioxides, or ACT, in a series of small trials. Picada conducted a trial in a tunnel in Milan and found that an experimental paint containing ACT reduced the levels of NOx in the affected area. People who were walking through the tunnel even commented that they could breathe easier after the tunnel was painted. Crystal Global also put a similar paint on a 300 square meter facade of a school in London and found it to have cleaned the exhausts of 2,000 cars per day. That's like seven cars per square meter. One place where NOx levels are higher than normal are car parks. So Crystal Global did a trial in an underground car park in Paris. They found that paints with ACT can reduce NOx levels of up to 90% depending on how much fluorescent light reaches the paints. While these trials proved the technology actually worked, making a commercial paint with ACT required hurdling several challenges, not the least of which was making the product affordable enough to be used in large amounts. Crystal Global and Boysen Paints worked together to overcome these hurdles, and the result of this partnership is Boysen's Knox Out. Knox Out is the first commercial paint with crystal active technology. Knox Out was tested on a major metro rail station along the busiest highway in Metro Manila where 150,000 vehicles pass by every day. And it turned out to be the biggest air cleaning paint trial in the world. Early results from the trial show that the NOx taken out by NOx out is several times higher than those in the European trials. The NOx out painted on the metro rail station and the surrounding embankment walls is estimated to be taking out the exhaust of more than 30,000 cars per day from the air in the area. In effect, the metro rail station is now the biggest air purifying station in the world. Every little bit counts in the fight against air pollution. Cleaning polluted air takes back some of the time that air pollution has been stealing from our lives. A study found that by reducing air pollution in several cities in the U.S., increased life expectancy by five months. We have one world and we breathe the same air. And we have a common responsibility to improve its quality. Every time we take a bus or a car, we put things in the air that harm other people. We don't need to just be part of the problem. We can be part of the solution. A lot of people plant trees today to reduce the carbon dioxide our current society generates. Unfortunately, trees don't handle NOx. Painting a wall with NOx out is one of the few ways we have today to take out the NOx that we have in the air. We used to paint the walls to protect our houses, but with NOx out, we can paint to protect other people from breathing harmful air. If we could paint the walls of our house, we could help protect our family. If we could paint the walls of our school, we could help protect our children. And if we could paint the walls around our neighborhood, we could help protect our community. One person, one wall. One wall, one world. If everyone in every community could paint one wall, we could help protect our town, our city, and our world. To find out more about air pollution, knocks out, and which companies and citizens are stepping up to clean the air, Go to www.onewallonewall.com.